On the morning of day 10, we left the Capital Gateway Camper Van Park and headed back into the middle of the city. It was a beautiful day, the perfect day to cross the Cook Strait. We stopped and had a quick look at the New Zealand Parliament buildings. The Prime Minister's office is inside a building called the Beehive. This is a statue of a guy called Richard Seddon, who was the Prime Minister ages ago, and this is me. We drove around the waterfront to visit a friend in Lyle Bay. We thought about having lunch at this cafe. Someone recommended it to me and it looked really cool. But there was a big queue and we had to catch the ferry. Maybe next time. We made it to the ferry just before the final check-in time. And then spent about an hour in a queue. It was very nice being in a motorhome in the queue. We had a bathroom and filtered water. This is our ferry arriving in Wellington. The Inter-Islander has three passenger ferries. We went on the Aratere. Apparently this ship was built in Spain in 1998 and can carry 360 passengers. We left the Sprinter to go to the passenger decks then remembered the handbrake wasn't on, so we went back to sort that out and then went upstairs and started exploring our ship. I bought a postcard and picked up some maps. I tried out the sick bags and followed the instructions on the seats. I avoided the gangway, that sounded dodgy. I wrote the postcard and sent it to Germany and I made a souvenir from a 10 cent coin. Sadly, the photo picture machine was out of order, but the machine next to it worked. I put $2 into it and I got a Hello Kitty Kato strap. Awesome. Although I would have preferred Surfing Kitty. When I'd run out of things to do, I filled in a feedback form and told them how I was a bit disappointed not to get Surfing Kitty. This is Te Waiponamu, the South Island of New Zealand. And this is Picton.
went to the information center and picked in and bought another postcard and sent it to Mexico. In the evening, we were lucky enough to be taken out on a boat for dinner and a sunset cruise. We sailed around a place called Kaipupu Point Scenic Reserve. In 2008, this special fence was built around the point to keep out animals like cats, possums and rats so that native plants and birds would be able to thrive here. Before dinner, I took the dinghy out for a bit of a spin. It was so peaceful out here on the ocean. Mm -hmm. 